The main advantage of this device is that it allows us to measure the resistance of soft tissue in a quantitative manner. The device conforms closely to the shape of a conventional probe, uses consecutive parameter, and corrects data in a non-unit, Newtons. For measurements of the resistance force of the acetabular labrum by pull probing, first fix a phantom hip, consisting of the left pelvis and femur bone, major muscles of the hip, acetabular labrum, hip capsule, and articular cartilage of the hip joint onto a standard fixation device. Unlock the connecting part of the fixation device, then abduct and internally rotate the femur bone slightly to distance it from the pelvis and to generate joint space to mimic hip arthroscopy. To prepare the arthroscope, connect a portable arthroscopy camera light source to a 4mm 70-degree autoclavable direct-view arthroscope, and connect USB cables from the arthroscopy camera and light source to a computer. Then open the advanced screen recording software for the arthroscopy view. To generate the first portal, insert a cannulated needle and guide wire into the hip joint from the tip of the greater trochanter to make a normal anterolateral portal. Insert a 5.5 mm cannula with an obturator along the guide wire. Then remove the obturator and then insert the 70 degree arthroscope and camera along the cannula. Then confirm that the capsular triangle between the labrum and femoral head can be observed in the view from this portal.